Hey everybody, thanks for checking in today, Day One Coaching. If it's your first time here, please like the page, would love you forever. Um, so at Day One Coaching, we like to do uh, workshops, we do one-on-one -on -one coaching, we do uh, whatever it takes to get you unstuck and get you moving forward, whatever that, whatever that looks like for you, I would love to help. Uh, we're continuing our series today on, instead of just reading to read and say that, uh, try to impress people with how many books you've read, we're talking about how many of you applied. And a big focus, again, if you haven't gone out and gotten this book yet, please do yourself a favor and do it. It's Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And uh, today we're going to talk about just this little excerpt uh, that talks about pretending to be somebody you're not. And I don't know if you've ever had to deal with this. Big part of my life, I pretended to be something I wasn't, didn't feel authentic, trying to mimic what I thought people would like and uh, or what people are impressed by or, you know, what, what kind of guy, girls, like, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, I just tried to jump into that role and play that role. In the moment I realized that the people that really matter to you are gonna like you for whatever you are and whatever you're going through, whether it's up or whether it's down, was, was a monumental shift for me. So a part of the book, the excerpt that I'm gonna share with you is we pretend to be what we are not because we are afraid of being rejected. The fear of being rejected becomes the fear of not being good enough. Eventually, we become someone that we are not, and we become a copy of mama's beliefs, daddy's beliefs, society's beliefs, and religion's beliefs. All our normal tendencies are lost in the process of domestication. And when we are old enough for our mind to understand, we learn the word no. And then we rebel because we are defending our freedom. Drop the mic. Listen. The whole domestication process, right? If you're stuck in that rut where, well, I'm this age, so I should be doing this, or um, if I'm in this job for this long, then I should be doing this. The then I shoulds, or because someone else is doing something, or because someone else is where they are, and therefore I should be too, is what's holding you back. This, the, if you don't take anything else away from this, just please understand that this pretending to be is not serving you. And I want you to examine some area of your life where you may pretending be pretending to be something to fit a certain, you know, maybe a, a square hole with a red peg, a, a round peg, whatever that is. Just where that fits with you and is that serving you? Is that helping you? Practice for today because we're all about practice at Day One Coaching. We just practice, practice, practice. It's not about perfection, it's about progress. And it's not about perfection, it's about practice. That's why doctors have a practice, because they're continuously practicing, right? Uh, challenge for today, look at the areas where you might be pretending or trying to fit into a place that you just that just doesn't serve you and, and therefore you're not really serving it. Maybe it's a person, Maybe it's a place, maybe it's a thing, maybe whatever that is. Figure out what that is. Share that in the comments. Share your journey with me. I would love to help out. Uh, I would love to share resources with you. And, and we're going to continue our journey. But again, figure out where you might be pretending. Figure out if it's serving you. And if it's not, let's make a plan to get unstuck, get out of that rut, and find your own way. Why should you do it? Well, day one coaching, we believe you should do it because you matter and we appreciate you.